start fencing and draw a party emoji. It's going to be super fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper and... Something to color with. Something to color with. Now, optional, you can use a bowl to trace around, but you don't have to if you don't want to. This makes the circle perfect. Perfect circles. Yeah. What also is today? Monday. Monday, which means we're gonna spotlight our awesome art friends that participated in last week's challenge. They're gonna show up during the lesson, so be sure you keep an eye out for your art. All right, Hallie, you ready to start? Yes. Well, first turn over the bowl. Now, we're gonna use a bowl we don't really care about because we got black markers. That's gonna leave a mark on our bowl, so we're using black, but also one that mom doesn't care about. So we're gonna trace around. I'm gonna put my left hand on top, and then trace around without trying to lift up the marker. So you can just do it in one motion. So hold, hold the top with your left hand and then reach this hand all the way around over there and then that'll help you do it all in one line. Keep going. Oh, you're doing awesome. Keep going. All the way. You did it. Now, if you don't have a bowl, you could also just use freehand and just draw a circle without the bowl. Good. All right, let's put that off to the side. Now we're gonna draw all of the details inside the circle. Let's first draw the eyes and they're closed. So we're gonna draw two curves in the middle of our circle. <laughs> then we're gonna make them a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna draw another curve that goes around like this to make the eyes thicker. I'm going to do that on both sides. All right, now let's also add eyebrows. So, oh, eyelashes. You got to add them over there too. One, <laughs> two. That works. Three. I like it. Okay, now let's draw the eyebrows. So we're going to draw a longer line that's over the top of both eyes. So two more curves that are higher. And then we can make these thicker also, but I'm not going to make them as thick so they look different. Draw them a little thinner on both sides. All right, now we can draw the lips and it looks like the number three. So we're going to draw a curve, a double curve like that because <laughs> it's blowing on one of those kazoo party noisemaker things. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what those things are called. Okay, <laughs> we're going to draw, we're going to make it thicker. So we're going to draw another three right next to it. Next, we're going to draw that party blower thingy coming out of his mouth. So I'm going to draw a little, two little lines coming out to the side. Then we can connect them. And then I'm also going to draw another line right next to it. Yeah, now let's draw the curly part. So I'm going to start right here. We're going to draw a line that comes out like this and then we're going to curve around and I'm just going to keep going. Watch this. I'm just going to keep going into the center like that. Yeah. And then we can connect another line going across. Now, if we were using a pencil, we could go in and erase that little circle line that's going through it, but we're just going to leave it because we're using markers. Yeah. All right. Now let's draw the party hat. We're going to come up here and we're going to draw an A shape that comes up and back down. Then we can draw the stripes. So we're going to draw two lines curved that match kind of the circle line. Then I'm going to add two more lines right above that one. And you can do your own detail too. Yeah, if you wanted to, you could change the details. Yeah, I'm going to add one more line at the very top. All right, Hadley, what is this party missing? The confetti. The confetti. All right, let's first draw. We're going to draw a square up here. And I'm kind of drawing a diamond shape because it's sideways. Now I'm going to draw another confetti piece of paper right here, right above the eye. There you go. That's okay. Your feet. <laughs> that's okay. I'll I'll show you a step by step. That's an easy way to do it. Let's first draw a V like that, and then we're gonna draw another V to connect the top. There you go. Okay. Now we can also do L shapes. Let's try an L shape over here. So we're gonna do the letter L. Yep. And then let's do a backwards or upside down L to complete it. That's a simple way to draw another square. Okay, let's add more confetti. Let's do one down here underneath the party blower. So I'm going to draw a letter L. 
upside down now to connect it. Okay, now there's one right here that's behind the face. So let's do sideways L. There we go, and just part of it because we're using overlapping. Let's do another one over here. I'm gonna draw another L shape. And then we'll connect it in. Okay, and then one more over here. So I'm gonna draw another L, looks like sideways L, or V, and then we're gonna do an upside down one to connect it. And then one more over here, right next to his cheek. Oh, I drew an upside down L first, and then we can draw a backwards L to connect it. Hadley, we did it, we finished drawing our party emojis. They look super cute, except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Color it. It's going to look so much more exciting once we color it. Now this part, we are going to fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. Ready to fast forward? Yes. coloring our party emoji and yours turned out super cute. I love it. Now it looks so much better colored in, right? Yes. So I hope our art friends at home are going to pause the video right now to match the same coloring. Now to keep this lesson a little easier, you can leave the shading and the highlights off and just color it solid yellow. I started with yellow and then I layered on top of it orange and I gradually got lighter towards the top to make that highlight. And then I also went around the outside with an orange border just to make it look extra shiny. Yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your party emojis. Yes, we do, we hope you had a lot of fun. And we also wanna congratulate all of the art friends that participated in last week's challenge. We love seeing all of your art and we hope you enjoyed seeing your art featured in today's lesson. Now be sure to stay tuned on Wednesday because we're gonna announce another challenge to feature artists in our next Monday video. We'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye.